Okay, Scorpio. It's time for you guys' full moon Aquarius read. So, before we get into the details of the message, let's pray. Great Creator, Father God, Divine Mother, Mother Mary, Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides. Just pray and ask for wisdom and clarity and for any messages that need to come through for the collective sign of Scorpio. For this, their full moon in Aquarius read. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm still shuffling wonky. There we go. It's like I've never shuffled parts before. Come on. Don't worry. All right, here we go. Your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon in Taurus. What do you need to release? Waning moon. So. A I like that this is the full moon in Taurus because it's very grounded energy. It's an earth sign. Um, whenever you look at your dreams, aspirations, goals, get a practical plan behind it. That way you can get, um, you can set goals. Short-term goals, long-term goals. You have to be goal-oriented. Okay, so let's go to... Priestess of Lights, Oracle Card Deck. One more shuffle. And even in making those goals short term and long term, the releasing is those things that will prevent you from reaching your ultimate goal. So. Courage, strength, fierceness, and family. Number two card. Number of connection. Very Leo energy. Number four card. Summon, a summon, a summoning power. Instinct, intellect, and control. And sensuality feminine wisdom and passion 38 card reduces down to 11 which is angelic number strength courage fierceness instinct intellect control wisdom and passion it's what you need to obtain your goals, to reach that finish line, the first of many finish lines, or one of many finish lines, because we don't reach an ultimate finish line, even when we transition to the other side of the veil. Two of Pentacles, the world, chariot, eight of Pentacles, nine of Wands. Ace of Wands, Three of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Three of Wands, and Nine of Cups. So, Two of Pentacles. Okay, when you do this, when your dreams, when you really get a practical plan behind your dreams, it won't feel like you're juggling the entire look. Let me show you. I know. Language has been become very limiting for us. It won't feel like you're juggling the entire world. Do you see this? Because I don't feel like it's the world opening up for you. I feel like you have the world sitting your sh on your shoulders. Because you're biting off more than you can chew without a practical plan behind it. And once you get that... Like, you're wanting fast movement. That's the reason you're biting off more than you can chew. And you're working on yourself. You're thinking that you're not keeping up. Eight of Pentacles. And you're becoming very defensive. Because that's not what's going on here. Nine of Wands is a very defensive energy. But that's not what's going on here. What's going on is that all of this energy here. Okay, let me show you this. Courage. Strength, fierceness, and family. Strength, fierceness, and family. 
instinct, intellect, and control, and feminine wisdom and passion. See all this? If not directed and focused, can kind of be wild, untamed, without direction. Like all over the place. Can even appear to be bipolar. Um, manic. See what I mean? So, and there's a lot of excitement and there's passion, there's drive. All of this describes a drive and a determination to get to this finish line to accomplish this. But you need direction, you need focus. Like I said, this could come off like bipolar, manic be all over the place where you want to do everything at the same time you don't know what to do first that this is what I want to accomplish but I'm not there and how do I do it and and it's all over the place you need focus so you can work on yourself all you want but all of this energy is going to come out like this very defensive energy I know what I'm doing I know what I'm doing. I know how to do this. And you still don't get there. Because you're not focused. You're not taking the time to make a plan of attack. Make a schedule. Like, I'm, I'm listening to myself here. Like, I need to make a schedule too. Ace of Wands. Because there's a new opportunity here for a new beginning. Like, let's start this over again. New beginning. Three of swords, which is heartbreak, disappointment. Let's move past the disappointment of failing in the past. Or let's move past this disappointment where you had this drive, you had this determination, and you didn't quite get there. Now, instead, let's connect with community three of wands always uh, wands are words three is like having it's like waiting for the other person to respond this could be staying connected to a community that you know the individuals that have accomplished the goal and they're there mentoring others to get to there. See what I mean? And it's connecting with them and waiting to hear something back. Because the wish fulfillment is this ultimate goal. Nine of Cups. So there's something that you're wishing for, something you're working towards that you really want to happen. That's the drive, the determination, that's the passion. But you have to put the work in. You do. You have to put the work in. Oh, excuse me. The work, though, has to be driven, focused. You have to have an ultimate goal in mind and not just be all over the place. Like, you can even do this, too, and say, I want to do all of these things and list many different things then focus on one to start out with and then build up from there so what like i said short-term goals long versus long-term goals what can you accomplish in a short amount of time what's going to take a little bit longer so you have to determine and set the differences here because there's a lot of energy like right here there's a lot of energy like huge big driven energy all of this wild and tribal and fierce and dominating and let's take this by storm and not focused 
there's a story in the Bible. I'll, I'll give you this to illustrate this. Story in the Bible. There was, and actually I'll just keep hold of these three cards here. There was, um, two kings were battling. And on the battlefield, messengers were sent from one camp to the other. If the king wanted to talk, um, peace, wanted to ask for, basically it's like a ask for time out. Like there's many different reasons why they would send messages back and forth. So this king sent for a messenger. Someone that was very young, very inexperienced, not focused, said, me, 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 pick me. Well, you don't know where you're going. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I know where I'm going. I know where you're going. Just pick me, pick me. Now, the king told him that he would pick him. At the same time, this young messenger took off running. While a seasoned messenger was standing nearby and waiting for the message. So, on the opposing, not team, but you know what I mean. On the opposing battlefield, both messengers show up. The king opposite receives the young, inexperienced messenger. Oh, excuse me. Who shows up and the king says, yes, you're determined to give me a message. What message do you have for me? And the young messenger had nothing to give because he didn't wait long enough to hear the message. Sometimes when it comes to, and I, I'm not even going to say sometimes, all the times, when it comes to determination and drive and passion for something and I want to do this I want to go there I want to be this I want to do 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 and there's no focus behind it then it becomes that messenger that's running across the battlefield thinking they're delivering a message and it's pick me pick me pick me do let me do it and they have no message to give so there's no focus behind it. There was a drive and a determination, but it's not focused. Focus comes with maturity, a little bit more maturity. When you have the drive and determination and the passion behind it, and I want to do this and I want to do that. Trust me, when I was in Bible college, my first year, first month of my first year, Oh, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that, and I'm going to do this. And by the time they graduate, they're sitting there going, I just hope, it's like by the time presbytery, at the end of second year. So the first month, first couple of weeks of the first year, they're all excited. We're going to take over the world. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. By the second year the end of the second year, as they're facing their press retreat, they're sitting there going, I just don't want to be corrected. Just let God tell me I'm okay. See the difference? Because what has to happen to take the drive and the determination and the passion that's, that's going in a direction and to face it in the right direction is knowledge fill in the head learn a little bit more it's okay process wisdom so instead of like taking off I'm gonna do this without a plan what's gonna end up happening is that you're gonna race forward and you're gonna miss something Get connected to your community. The community that whatever this is. I feel like it's vocation. I feel like it has to do with job, future, like career oriented. Get connected with this community. And really ask questions. Ask questions. Be connected to the community. Learn more. 
and gain focus because the drive is there the passion is there gain focus get clarity learn fill the head because the drive and the passion the spirits ready to jump you got to back it with a little bit of knowledge too all right so for the collective sign of scorpio this is your full moon and aquarius read love and light